It's all of music's great love stories. Well, it really two of them because there's the marriage between Robert and Clara Schumann and then her relationship with the much younger Johannes Brahms. How beautifully you wrote this time. Not mere words, but delicate flowers. It was really Clara who was the true phenomenon of her age. Clara began giving concerts long before her, even her 10th birthday. By the time she was a young adult, she was as famous as Lang Lang or someone like that. She had eight children. How she had managed that career and those children all at once, I can't begin to imagine. Robert was a brilliant, mercurial composer, but he had severe mental health problems. Robert tried to take his own life in 1854, jumping into the River Rhine. He was taken to a mental asylum many, many miles away from where they lived. And at that point, Brahms arrived in the family home, offering his support. And what happened next has long been the subject of conjecture and speculation. But what we do know is that much later in life, Clara described that relationship as an exquisite harmony of souls. In one of his letters, he wrote to her about the unanswered question. I don't suppose we'll ever know exactly what happened. It's a million dollar question, isn't it? It's a tender and beautiful story. I just think fact is so much more interesting than fiction.